Hello gamers, geeks and gays, welcome back to the Outer Wilds. Today we're going to be going back to the Ember Twin because of... Oh, boy was it stressful last time. Um, I feel like we kind of wasted a little bit of time when we first got there. We had to, you know, figure our way around. We had to do a lot of reading in the escape pod. So what I'm going to do today, we're going to go back to that sunken city. And I'm going to kind of speed run my way towards it. We're going to try find the bits that I missed before it fills up. And then after that point, we're going to explore some more stuff on the surface. Next episode... We're going to do another one of those smell the roses experiences. So let me know in the comments down below which planet you want me to just kind of go and have a bit of a sightseeing tour of. It has to be a planet we've already been to. I'm not going somewhere brand new because I don't want to spoil things. Um, but let me know which planet do you want me to kind of showcase the beauty of. Which one do you want to kind of have a bit of a slower pace look at. We could maybe go see Gabbro again on Giant's Deep. We could have another look around the Timber Hearth. We could go to the Atoll Rock. It's up to you guys. Let me know. Where do you want to go have a look at in the next episode? In the meantime, let's get into this. Um, I've been itching to get back into the game. It's been a little while. I am kind of being very good, actually, with this. I'm being very... Uh, what's the word? Can't think of the word. But I'm being very strict with myself about playing this game. Um, I only ever play it when I'm recording. Um, and I'm getting good at saying, right, I'm going to do it like twice a week. And we're going to keep this up. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. I know there's been a few people binge watching the series. So hi, binge watchers. I do exactly the same. Um, but you've got to wait now. You're up to date. Everyone's up to date now if you're watching this. Right, what we're we doing? Um, speed running to Ember Twin. We can do this. I saw that apparently there's like a Lego set coming out of um, the ship. And I need that in my life. If you know where I can get that or when it's released, please let me know. Um, I, I genuinely, I want it. We want what's in its pockets is. So let's... Speed on over to the Ember Twin. I don't know if there's another way into the Sunken City yet. Um, the only way I know is through the escape pod. Um, I'm going to affectionately refer to it as a life raft, personally. Um, but what we're going to do, we're going to go there. What's that kind of weird flower looking building? Um, we're going to go to the escape pod. I'm going to... Ah, nearly crash into the Ashen Twin. Jeez, Louise. I can tell I just want to get here and get exploring. I'm, I'm getting... I'm not taking massively good care of the ship. Let's hop on him. Yeah, we, we might find another way in, to be fair. I'm not entirely sure. But for now, this is the way to Armorillo. Can you remember that song? Is this the way to Amarillo? Do, do. Every night I've been hugging my pillow. Dreaming dreams of Amarillo. Where sweet Maria waits for me. Absolute tune. Right, I believe it was this way. Yeah, this is the way. It's just uh, giving Mandalorian vibes now. I love this place. I loved exploring the bit that we've already been through. Um, when I was getting like the thumbnail, when I was doing the, the kind of beauty shots at the end. I, I literally followed through where we went. And oh my god, this place is gorgeous. I love it. I love everything about it. Right, it's back this way. Over here. Then up. Oh my god. My dad would be proud of me for remembering the way. Like, my dad was one of those people where he could just remember where he is at all times. I'm pretty sure he had just, like, a paracompass on him at all, at all points. Um, but, yeah, it's, I'm quite proud of the fact that I can vaguely remember. Then there's, like, a hidden bit here. Ta-da! Um, ignore the cactuses. And then we're going up here. Avoid the cactuses, because I'm a pro now. See, you guys, just think, how, how proud are you guys of me now? Because, I mean, it's been such a long time since I learned to do all the movement in this game. I feel like now I am genuinely becoming a bit of a pro. 
Right, so I want to launch the scout in there purely for lighting purposes. Because apparently we need to put light in there to be able to see our way into there. I don't know if we're going to go into there today, but I'm just going to be preemptive. Okay, right. First things first. Let us go over here. Put all the lights on. Because these are a thing. And I'm not going to waste any time. I'm yeeting myself to the bottom of this damn... Ah! The high energy lab. What now? What high energy? I can see the scout. Oh, is it above us somewhere? I don't think this is like a, the intended way into the anglerfish, but I might be able to find a way. Well, for now, I'm following the... F oh. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't... Mm. Okay, I'm fine. I'm okay. Um, can I try that again? Please. No! Oh, right, I don't think I can get in there. Well, that sun's coming down. I probably can. But for now, I'm aware I don't have much time to explore, so we're going back. Um, I also feel like that's too high to climb from here. I don't know, but it is quite weird that the lighting is there. But I don't think this was it. There was another there was another place that the kids were talking about going to to have a look around. I can't remember. Ooh. Why is all the music all mystical sounding? I'm going to do it a few levels at a time because I don't want to miss anything in this game. I'm going to... Never mind. Right, so some skellywags. Oh, the soundtrack. I, I don't know what this particular song is called. Uh, I don't know what it's, you know, in reference to. Um, it always seems to play when we're kind of in these Know My Ruins. It's the same that was on the Brittle Hollow. And it genuinely moves me. This is just... Stepping Stone Cave. Okay, that's where the kids said to go. So actually, we didn't miss that much down here. It was just the, the high energy thing, which, to be fair, I could go to at some point in the future. But I feel like now I kind of want to go have a look at this anglerfish. Because that's one of the things that was like really intriguing me. Because they found a way... Theoretically, at least, to avoid the anglerfish, right? And I need to go and have a look and see if we can figure that out. I am aware that I'm running out of fuel. Um, and I'm a bit concerned about that. And I'm a bit concerned as to why this is called Stepping Stone Cave. That's why it's called Stepping Stone Cave. Hmm. All right, then. Ah... Uh, Oh, okay. Where is... Right, if the kids could come in here to find a way to the anglerfish, right? Then how? Did they have jetpacks? I want a jetpack as a kid. Duh, this is freaky. Oh, that's hideous. Whoever was it when, whoever was it when we ended last time? Oh, whoever was it when we ended last time is the anglerfish. Rule change: the anglerfish now has to wear a blindfold and do not peek. The rest of us, the little fish, line up against one wall. When the anglerfish says, go, the little fish sneak across to the other side. The anglerfish catches you, you are eaten. Last little fish to be caught is the new anglerfish. The old anglerfish gives the new anglerfish the blindfold and becomes a little fish. Why are we changing it? 
It's too hard if you can't see anything. Ant Pie says real anglerfish are blind. So you have to wear a blindfold. The rule stands. Rule update. It's okay if younger kids don't wear the blindfold when they're it. The rest of us will still wear it for scientific accuracy and to make the game more even. No. No. Surely not. No. Why? Why are they still up here? What happened? Whatever killed these Nomai off? Must have done so, like, incredibly quickly. They were still up here playing. And the anglerfish are blind? How does that help me? Is, is, is it like a sound thing? Can I land on here? Come on. Yes! 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 Secret! Anglerfish study. Right, we're here. This is what we need. This is what we need. The long growth between from his head is bioluminescent. Perhaps it has used this growth to attract prey. An update. Malore, while I was here making sketches of the anglerfish, I observed the children I saw earlier playing here again. They've added a rule to their game that incorporates our research. It's wonderful. I'm entirely delighted. It's never too early to appreciate biology. This anglerfish's digestive tract suggests death by starvation. Visually, the specimen appears to be of the same species as the anglerfish and dark bramble. We don't believe it originated from this planet. Okay. Oh! We're back up here now. Well, that's actually quite handy, because now I can re fill fuel and oxygen. And then we'll go back down. Also, I appreciate that um, I was told to use my light a little bit more for you guys, because it can be a bit dark on the YouTubes. Um, I apologize. I'm going to try and keep that in mind. This thing is haunting. I, I do not have words for how much I hate this thing. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Um. Okay then. That's very interesting. Is there anything else this way? Oh boy, I don't like this. Ah, we're back. Are we playing the fossil fish game tonight? I fed the fossil fish a new lantern. If you go to Stephanie's own cave, the entrance to the fossil fish cave is easy to see now. Gratitude, Solanum. Solanum grew up here. But wait, so if Solanum grew up here, why do we see them at Brittle Hollow? What happened to this place? Did this place go first, or did he just kind of grow up and move? Right, let's um, go to photo mode. Ooh, this ain't looking promising, guys. Yeah, bunch of dead no way in there. Is there a way in from the top, perhaps? Oh, I can hear the sand. Oh, I think we did kind of come in this building last time. Oh, sweet mother. 
what is ghost matter, by the way? I, I don't think that's ever been real, really explained. Unless maybe it has, and I'm... Oh, and I'm just ignorant. Also, don't actually tell me. If, if I find out in the game, I would very much like to find out myself. Oh my god. There is so much of this stuff. Aha! Be welcomed in this place. This shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us to the star system, the signal from the eye. We observed the eye signal in our travels and followed it here to find its source. What we know is this, the source of the signal, which we have chosen to call the eye of the universe, is older than the universe itself. The rest we have yet to learn. Enter and open your minds to its possibilities. I hope I have time. If the eye calls to us, why won't it reveal itself? Why is it so difficult to locate? Did something happen to it? Did the signal stop? Does the eye no longer desire to be found? Perhaps this isn't the eye's choice. The eye may not be able to communicate with us more than it already has. I still think it's a little bit big-headed to presume that this thing wants us or wants the Nomai. Did the eye deliberately call out to us by sending the signal or did we hear the signal by coincidence? We could be seeing meaning where there is none. Suppose a signal was produced incidentally. Does that mean the eye is any less important, though? Perhaps the eye wants it to be found. Could it be sentient? Maybe it chose us. Does the eye desire something from us? Could it need us in some way? Maybe it doesn't have to be us. Maybe it could be some blue funky fellas who turn up in a few, you know, how many hundreds or thousands of years later. Is the eye natural or artificial? Maybe someone built it. The eye is older than the universe itself. How could something exist before its creator? Could be naturally occurring, though this doesn't answer how the eye could be as old as it is. Okay, so... Okay, so I don't feel like we've particularly learnt anything new other than now Sturx is stuck in a oh no 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 oh come on come on no 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 not like this of all the ways I could go please not like this this is this is wrong on every level this is wrong no. I can't. There's no way out. There is no way out. Wait. No. Way out. Quickly. Please. Please, 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 please. Please. We need. I need. Need way out. Way out, please. Doesn't. Out. No, 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 no. Oh, was that the way out? Have I just killed myself? Oh, no. Come on. Come on. No. No. <laughs> this is how I end. This is how I end. This is, oh, this is the worst way yet. Oh. Blech. Oh, I'm so sorry. I feel so bad. I think that's one of the first times we've died to something other than like... The end? 
Oh, that was... I think <gasps> that has got to be one of the worst ways you can go, surely. Uh... Mm. Nah, my claustrophobia was acting up then. My god. Uh... I don't like that slate. I just got crushed to death. Hmm. Well, while we're here, I'm going to go talk to the ghost natter person and just have a natter with random people. See if there's any lore that we missed um, in the last one. I do want to go talk to the ghost matter person first. Because that, that, that was so much ghost matter. Like, that was silly amounts of ghost matter and I've never seen that much in one place before like is it naturally occurring is it I don't know what's causing it but I need to know because I'm inquisitive and I there's someone up there I don't believe I've spoken to them yet so we'll, we'll go see them as well right does this say anything about ghost matter Inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter, a strange and dangerous substance that is visible to the naked eyes. The good news is you can detect it with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself fooling around. Hi, astronaut. You know the patch of ghost matter inside the fence? Gosan said it used to be bigger when they were a hatchling because it evaporates. Takes just a super long time to go away. I hope it's all ghost matter in the village when I'm a grown up. You know how ghost matter is how Tektite lost their foot, right? Whoa! Really? That's so cool! Is it ghost matter because it's invisible? Right, th there was a lot of ghost matter in that Nomai structure, where there was a lot of dead Nomai. Did the ghost matter kill the Nomai? Or did it come from them? I don't know. We'll find out. Right, guys, I will call it there for today. Thank you all so much for watching. It's been an honour. As always. Oh my god, I love this game. I love this game to pieces. I, I need more. I need more. I might do an additional episode this week. Because I'm... I've got a whole week off work. And I've got nothing else to do. So you might see an additional episode. I will see. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. As usual, I have been Sturks. You have been incredible. And I'll catch you all later. For the next part of our adventure.